What's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. We're still here in Mag Bay. We just got a word from these guys over there that there's some yellowtail, Pacific yellowtail. This is a favorite rod. It's got a Shimano Tranks reel, and we're using an iron. Really great bait to, uh, to catch yellowtail on. Let me show you how we fish it. Take it, throw it out here, and we're gonna let it fall down as fast as possible. Now, as this bait falls down, it's gonna flutter down like a bait running away. We're gonna let it just go on down. Down, down, down she goes. Where she goes, no one knows. Get that jig, jig it a couple times on the bottom. See if there's one there, and if there's not, you just reel it, wind it straight up. And a lot of times they'll eat it on the way. There, there he is right here. First, first drop I got him on. I mean, first drop. Life is good, y'all. I'm telling you, sometimes just things just happen. I mean, I, you can't really express how cool it is. What do I got here? I got me a little yellowtail. No, it's a bonita. Come here, buddy. This is actually a really good eating fish. And, uh,. Let me show you what we got here. I don't want to make them bleed everywhere. It's got teeth. Little actual real bonita. Let's throw them in ice because I can make a great bait out of this. I'll show you another trick when you're doing this. Throw it up high, let it fall down. Then it's gonna have a lot of slack line. It'll really start falling fast. Out here jigging for yellowtails. Robert caught a Vanita already. Yellowtail, my first one. Look at that nice fish, Nick. Not a bad one. All right, there we have it. Nice yellowtail. There he is, got him. Yeah, but, oh, that's, it looks like you're decent. Uh-oh. Roberto! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, Roberto! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Y'all, this is what it's all about, man. Oh, he doubled up! As you guys have seen, I mean, we're catching marlin, dorado, everything. Oh, my gosh. It's actually been a long time since I caught a yellowtail. I mean, it's been a long, long time. But as you can see, everything is here. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful fish. Tell me, buddy. One of my favorite fish in the world to eat. Like anytime I go to a sushi bar, if they've got fresh yellowtail, count on it. These fish can be very bloody. So I want to, I'm all about taking care of my fish and as fast as possible, you want to gut them. This fish is now fully bled out, gutted, ready to go on ice. The better you take care of your fish, the better they're gonna take care of you. So I just got done taking care of that fish. Always want to check your line, make sure it's not too frayed, make sure your, your hooks aren't rolled over and uh, you're in good shape. Typically I want to cast a little bit away from the boat just so that you have a different drift. You know, when you've got three or four people fishing down the side, I try to come up to the front or the back and get the bait away from the boat. Yeah. 
It's so weird. I watched Robert and Rhoda use these little rods and I'm like, what is he, what's he doing with them little things? And now here I am using them and they are strong. He just hooked one on the fly. There he is, got him right here. Yeah, oh yeah. I tell you what, man, fishing here is amazing. This rod is made by Favorite Fishing. I'm really impressed with it. Great feel. All the backbone in the world you need. Let him calm down a little bit. He's hooked right in the corner of the jaw perfectly. Let me come on back here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Beautiful fish. It's called a Pacific Yellowtail. This one's about 12 pounds. As you know, one always has to go back. It's a, it's a great way of being respectful to the, to the fish and to the stocks that are around here. We've already got one for dinner. Gabe's caught a couple. Kelly's caught one. We're smashing them. And I'm ready to get tight again. There he is. First yellowtail. All right, buddy. Thank you. Dude, is it always like this or what? <laughs> it's usually good fishing here. That's for sure. Today's a good day for yellowtail though. That's a big one too. Nice. <laughs> All I can say is this was just a little bonus fishery right here in the middle of an epic day. Catching all kinds of other stuff. They said, hey, we hear there's yellowtail biting. We ran over here, threw some jigs in the water. We've got one for dinner. My little brother, Blue Gabe, he's been here doing a video and he just filleted this yellowtail. I wanna show you the difference. This one was not bled out. So, see that? That fish was not bled out. You guys saw, when I caught this one, I bled him out. Gutted him, made sure he was totally bled out. Is there a difference between the meat if you bleed him out or not? There you go. Go right down the other side of that backbone, just like that. Now, I got to admit, it looks pretty darn good. Let's see if there's a difference between the fish that was bled out and not. Well. Can't tell thus far. Okay, this one was bled out, this one was not. You can tell this one is a little bit darker. Let's just, um, I'm gonna cut out these pin bones, just like that. like that now you see you see how there's that red line there that's that blood line and all I will do take my knife and just angle it down at like a 45 degree angle and I'll cut that right out see that that's all bloodline same thing on this side you can see it very clear, just like that. See what I'm saying? That's a dark red bloodline. Tastes fishy. Some people like it, I don't. Just 
just like that. Cut it out. Now, we have a beautiful piece of fish. You guys, one of the things that I love the most about traveling to new countries and new places is meeting people. Like we have a language barrier. They speak some English and they try very hard. Just like I speak a little bit of Spanish and I try very hard. But what connects us is the ocean, you know? La mar. The ocean, the fishing, the fish, man, that's what connects us. We all love it, you know? We've been showing each other pictures and talking and just trying to, trying to communicate. And I encourage all of you just to put down the differences and embrace the similarities. We came down here to Magdalena Bay. We've had an amazing time. We're gonna cook this tomorrow, but that's all I've got for you tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so we got here to this beautiful little hideout here in Magdalena. This is Chena. That's her nickname because she's got a really, really hard first name to say. She's gonna be here. She's gonna cook for us and help us out. And tonight, she's cooking yellowtail that we caught yesterday. So we're gonna go in, take a look at that. But more importantly, like, Gabe's out there taking pictures with the kids. We had this beautiful, like, crazy sunset. More importantly, we're just trying to soak this all in because very rarely do you get to go to somewhere so beautiful. It is muy, muy, muy hermosa aquí. Muy hermosa. Oh, it's so beautiful here. The fishing is amazing, but the people are what make it really, really special. Thank you so much. Gracias por todo. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Everyone has been so friendly, so helpful, so kind. Let's go cook some food, y'all. Okay, so I just came in and checked this out. China has made some kind of amazing dish. It's a salad with lettuce and tomatoes and cucumbers and avocado. Then she's got the fish and red rice. But I don't know how she did it. So we're gonna watch how she makes this yellowtail. Okay. So she's gonna add just a little bit of oil. And then she's got the fish. If you see the fish, she took the filet and she butterflied it. She's gonna add some salt and pepper. So now she's gonna put the fish in the pan. Now she's gonna put the garlic butter on top. Oh my goodness, that looks good. Immediately, like the smell of the garlic just starts filling up the room, and uh, it's looking awesome to me. And this fish just looks amazing. Around here, people cook with just simple stuff a little garlic, a little butter, salt, pepper, but it's all based around fresh fish. I would say something in Spanish, but I'll have nothing. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is just nothing short of an amazing blessing. We've been having so much fun here. Tina, muchas gracias. Gabe, man, we've had so much fun, haven't we? Kelly, everyone, let's say the blessing real quick. Lord, thank you for this day, and thank you for this food. Thank you for this an amazing trip. Lord, I pray that you keep us all safe and nourish it to our body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 Okay. Um, Let's taste it. Yellowtail. Pacific yellowtail. Is anybody else's face burning like mine is right now? I think you got a little sunburned. Got the sunburn. Mm. Man, the garlic. The evo. is bien, bien, bien. Gracias. She might not like fish. ¿Te gusta? Sí. Mmm. That's good. It's How do you say it's good in Spanish? Bien, es, bi es bueno. Bien, bueno. <laughs> <laughs> right now I feel sort of awkward because she doesn't speak any English. I guess that's how I feel when I'm on a 
All my life working construction, I worked around Spanish people and they would blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't have a clue if they were yelling at me or happy. <laughs> well, this food's amazing. This whole trip's been amazing. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Sarah's back at the house building a barn. <laughs> and, ma and making YouTube videos. And making YouTube videos, so That's crazy. True. And you know what, I gotta give a shout out to the sat phone store. We brought our sat phones with us. We're on this island, there's no service. And uh, at 10 o'clock, they shut off all the power. So we're able to reach out, say hello to Sarah. I haven't called her yet. Gabe just called his family. I'm gonna go out and call her in a minute. And uh, other than that, y'all, I love you, I appreciate you. Thanks for the love, the support, the encouragement. Uh, that's all I got for you today. Take care, God bless, we gone.